Do you want to find more gold? Well, I know I do. So I've been thinking, you know, over the years, I've been um, collecting a lot of information. I built up a whole database with tracks and gold finds and uh, diggings and uh, mines and you name it, a whole bunch of stuff. And um, I've been using that database uh, to an extent on Google Maps to help me um, when I'm out in the field. But uh, one of the things I th thought of doing was to take that database, which is um, pretty comprehensive now, and to use that database with technology, particularly AI, to try and pinpoint and predict where gold might be found. I just thought I'd show you this little tool that I built. I've had some fun over the last few days, and I put together a tool using AI that's going to, I hope, help me find more gold. Let's have a look at the tool. Okay, so let's uh, get started. Um, we'll upload the uh, KMZ file. Once that's loaded, you can see all of the uh, information that I have in my database is now displayed. We've got mines and reefs, tracks, diggings, nuggets, areas that I think I should detect in, some more reefs, diggings, and also miscellaneous stuff like ruins and um, gates and so on that I might have come across in the, in the process. Um, so what I want to do is just zoom in over here a little bit. And you can see um, as you zoom in, uh, you're starting to see um, more details. So for instance, if you look at St. Arnold in this area, there was a nugget found there. Um, and uh, there's a whole lot of uh, mines and things over here as well. And um, when you click on them, sometimes they'll show a bit more information, sometimes not, depending on how much information I've been able to uh, get into my database. So I'll just do a search here on a mine called the Munster Reef Gold Production area. And uh, that's the gold. So Munster Reef had a fair amount of gold. And if we zoom out a little bit here, you'll see that um, there's an area of diggings that sort of surround the center where the mine is. A couple of mines at the top here as well, um, where there was also a reasonable amount of gold found. So this is quite a good gold area. These orange lines on my tracks where I've been in the past. Um, the uh, gold, gold markers here are showing where gold has been found. And, um, and these are the diggings. These are the diggings that um, were um, identified on maps like Geovic and so on, which, uh, which I've added into this map. So let's have a look here. I'll just get rid of that. And uh, what I'd like to do, say go to a map, go to a mine like that one, Leicester Reef, okay? And let's press the predict gold button here. And it goes off to AI and uh, spends a little while doing some research. Of course, this is the research that you would normally do yourself. This makes it a lot easier to do the research. And uh, it comes up with a probability, firstly, a probability of finding gold. And this is telling me that I have a 98% chance of finding gold in this area. That's pretty good. I think that's pretty good. And that's based on, on what, it, what it knows about the area and so on. It does a geological assessment. You know, it tells you things like... Um, you know, the, uh, the reef um, had mineralization, including ironstone and slate, with an emphasis of contact zones, provides excellent indicators for both reef and alluvial gold traps, etc., etc. It goes into some of the historic uh, context as well, so it does some historic research for you as well, telling you about when it was dug, who, you know, all sorts of things about that, and... Uh, then it also identifies three areas where you are likely to detect and find gold. 
And that's the most important. So for instance, this area number one here, it says focus prospecting efforts on the immediate vicinity of Leicester Reef, particularly targeting extensions of known quartz reef systems on slight elevations where exposed quartz, quartz spurs are likely to be found. This area has historically yielded a high grade ore. So you know when you're finding the gold, it's probably going to be close to 24 karat gold. Really good gold there. So yeah, so that that that's you know that sort of spot. Now if we if we went to another spot chart as an example and we said predict gold there as well, um, it'll tell you also a whole bunch of information about that. Probably similar in uh, the geological and historical um, uh, uh, as to the Leicester Reef, but it's also going to um, find and identify um, spots where you should go and do some detecting and probably be lucky, maybe. Who knows? So, yeah, it gives you three more um, spots where to find gold you know, in relation to the uh, to the map and where that reef was was um, located. So this is the program that I put together. I'm quite excited about it. It um, it should be quite a nice, um, interesting thing to use. At the moment, I, I've only I'm the only one who's got it. I've developed it. It's uh, it's running um, uh, as a um, as an app in a web browser and um, at some point in time well maybe i'll make it available and uh, and everyone else can use it as well but um, it obviously needs the input from the database and uh, it's the database that um, is the starting point and that is something that i've put together over many years it's got um, it's got a lot a lot of um, things in it Things like, for instance, uh, 580 spots where nuggets were found. That's significant. Very nice. And then it's also got a lot, uh, 765 spots, where I've uh, identified on the map, not being on the ground in a lot of times, but on the map, uh, spots that I think are worthwhile detecting. And now that I've got the uh, predictor and it's giving me more target areas, it becomes even more interesting. So there you are. You can use AI and it can be really useful. So let's see. I'm going to go out in the field, my next trip out, and I'm going to try and detect some of these areas um, that is predicted and uh, and see what it has, uh, you know, if it's, if it's um, come up with anything. Maybe I'll find a nice piece of gold. Well, I hope you've uh, found this um little a demonstration of the app um, interesting and um, who knows maybe it'll turn out to be a very useful tool at the end of the day if you've enjoyed watching this video in particular um, please and uh, be sure to press the like button this will help the channel to grow and also um, if you haven't already please subscribe to my channel as uh, as you don't want to miss out on future information and things like this. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time.